Aloha ka kahiaka e nā haumana. Good morning, students. Pehe o ko, how are you all? You folks answer, mai ka ino, ma ko, mahalo. Hey, ka i. Okay. Today is Thursday. Okay, so we're going to say it in Hawaiian. I ke i ala ka po aha. Okay. I ke i ala ka po aha. Okay. Today is Thursday. Alrighty. We're going to do Daniel K. Inoi Elementary. Okay, and Aloha Ka Kahiaka, our class song. Alrighty, Kalamai. Okay, Daniel Ke Inoi Elementary. Emele Kako, let us sing. Are we Ma Kao Kao? Remember what that means? Good morning, my kai. Let me scoot over here. Okay, so hoping you folks remember the words. Okay, emele kako, let us sing. Are we ma kao kao? You answer I. First graders, okay. Kumo is wearing a papale. Can you say papale? Yes. 
Papali means a hat. Okay? Yeah. Nani, yeah? Okay. This is from the hala tree. Okay? We have a hala tree outside in the front or corner of E building and C building. Okay? This is the hala tree. Okay. Well, let me read a little something about the hala tree, okay? An ancient plant of many uses. Millions of years before the Hawaiian Islands were formed by, by volcanic action, or even before dinosaurs roamed the continents, hala trees flourished on earth. The hala, also called pen, pandanus, or screw pine is a plant native to the Pacific and the parts of Asia. It came to Hawaii by natural means. Since its seeds is able to float, some plants for special uses were later brought by Polynesian voyagers. The hala tree, which can grow 20 feet or taller, lives from sea level to elevations 2,000 feet high. It is a very important plant in Hawaii and most of the Pacific. All parts of the tree from its area roots To its long bent leaves have been used for many purposes. Okay, so the lauhala or the hala leaves grow in a spiral at the ends of the branches like threads on a, of a screw. Okay, it gives the plant its other name, screw pine. Okay. The edges of the leaves or the mid and the mid ribs have very sharp pines. Okay. You've seen hats, purses, table, floor mats. Kumus floor mats is made out of lau hala. Okay. And I went out this morning to go get a leaf. A dry leaf and okay I cut off the um, thorns that are on the edges okay and so this is from this this morning I went to pick it up so as you can see even when you weave yeah in and out in and out Okay, this is just a sample. Okay, in and out, in and out. And then it becomes, you can make a fan. Okay, this is Kumu's fan. Alrighty. You can make a heart like this. Put something in, normally a candy or something can go in there. Okay, and these are baskets, okay, different types, oops, I color my shapes, okay, and here's another. <laughs> Okay, say papali. Okay, so the um the hala is either a um, boy or a girl tree. Okay, the let's see. 
the female hala tree produces fruit clusters that look like pineapples. Okay. Each cluster is about 8 inches long and is made up of 50 or more fruit section called keys. I think these are keys. Okay. And the fibers of the inner ends of dried keys were used as brushes for painting. Kappa. Okay. They also contain tasty seeds, which are difficult to remove as the keys are very hard. Keys fall from the fruit cluster when they are ripe. Ripe fruits fill the air with pleasant aroma, much like flowers. Okay. The unripe hala fruit are often strung with lawai fern to make lays. The male fruit flower called hinano is a pleasant fragrance. Its pollen was used to preserve feather lays, kahilis, the symbols of royalty, okay, and was also used by Hawaiian girls as a love charm. You know, you also can make bracelets with these um, hala, lau hala, okay? So, the uses of hala and lao hala that, were, that we have learned are still important to us. The hala tree is also, in, also important to red-footed boobies, seabirds that prefer to nest in those trees, growing in the sea cliffs at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Refuge at Kilauea Point on Kauai. What else does it say? Just a little information for you folks. Okay? Many of the large hollow groves have been cleared for housing, construction, and farming. However, excellent hollow groves may still be found at Kahana and Nu'uwano here on Oahu, along the Hana Coast on Maui, in the Puna District of Hawaii, and Naue on Kauai. The hala is one of our most beautiful and interesting trees. It makes an excellent plant for the yard. You may also try growing one in the house since they do well. Since they do grow well indoors. Maybe a hot house, not our own hale. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Um, make you folks paint, okay? Each one of you will get a bag. Some of you will get a bag. Each one of you will get a brown bag. And you will um, rub it together, make it soft like it was kappa, okay? Look. Okay. Kappa is um, from the Valke tree, okay? And we have the tree right here. On, on campus, the Valky tree, okay, that can make kapa or cloth, okay? And it's like about two feet away from this hala tree. Okay, that Kumu took picture of, okay? Let's see, I cannot. The Valky tree is on this side. Let me see if I can see it here. Aole. Uh, okay. But it would be nice if I could take you folks and go look at these um, trees. Yeah? Okay. Very beautiful. Okay, so. So you're going to have to... 
wash up these papers. Make it soft like cloth so each one of you can paint on it. Okay, let's see. I just, um, let me just turn this over for a while so you can see just a little bit of what Kumo will be doing. Okay, I've got blue, polu, and can you go see that? Okay, this is, oh, here we go. This is orange, Alani. Okay, and um, I will leave the um, paint brushes with you, first graders, for two weeks, just like the Who or the Kukui Nut Top game. Okay, and each one of the class can have it at least. There's five classes, so two days to do whatever um, you folks need to do to paint on these um, brown paper bags. Make it seem like they're kappa. Okay. Because, you know, the in the olden days, the Hawaiian women, you know, they would pound, pound, pound. Yeah, just like Hina. Okay. The goddess of the moon and the mother of Kapa. Okay. Because she told her son Maui to slow down the sun. Because I want my kappa to dry, you know. So, let's see how this comes out. And you can paint whatever you folks want to paint. Let me see how this one is. Okay, so I am using the blue, okay? I wish this could. So let me see if I can. Alrighty, bear with me, boys and girls. Okay, I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe the blue skies, okay? I'll paint blue skies. Okay. And, and I'm also going to provide the paint for you folks, okay? I know this looks like eyes, don't they? But these are kumu skies, okay? Alrighty, so let me put this over here. I'll put this on the side. I'll wash it. Well, I say I'll rinse it later on. And orange. Oh, maybe I can paint an orange, okay? Because I'm just, I'm using, I'm putting this into a paint bowl. Okay, can you really see it here? Okay, I'm so sorry, okay? And then I'll just make a circle. Just like this, I'm doing a circle. I know you folks can't see that. It's kind of hard. Yeah? So this orange is under the blue skies. I'll put that on the side. Kumu, that wasn't too good, but um, you folks know what I mean. You can draw like dog, because I'm going to give you blue and orange and green, oma oma o, mele mele color, yellow, okay? So you folks go ahead and color or paint whatever you want with the lahala brushes, okay? Yeah, you know these Hawaiians, they are really smart, I tell you. Yeah? Okay, oh, my sky. Okay? You think of what you want to do with your kapa. Okay, I know you can do better than what Kumu did, 
okay yeah so this is from the hala tree yes they call it lao hala okay the brush already and like Kunu said with the lao the leaf okay because it's just weaving these are just these are being weaved okay mm -hmm. papale okay basket already all different size okay yes so Kumu just wanted to show you folks a sample of how these were made okay another basket and like I said like the fan right like cut you and I want to show one day I'm just going to use my bracelet and show you folks that yes it, you know these leaves makes all kinds of things and hold on you guys know what my um, lahala mat on the floor looks like I'm gonna pick this up and show it to you folks because my lahala mat is on the floor that's what it's used for okay so ekalamai yao okay I'm sorry excuse me but I'm gonna stand up and I want to show you folks my mat okay this is my lauhala mat you folks sat on it when you folks came to Kumu's class right yes ah my kai okay and I'll also give you uh, paperwork on this lauhala Alrighty, so it is a holy whole time, and I hope you folks enjoyed this presentation of lahala. Okay, and you folks will be given your lahala brushes. I'll get it ready and give it to your kumu on Friday, so by next week you folks can start doing it. Okay, and don't forget you're gonna have to. Wash these. Be careful, okay? Alrighty. You're going to malama. Take care of kumus things. Okay? Alrighty. Are we ma kau kau? Emele kako. Let us sing. Ahui ho. Malama pono ahui ho, malama pono ahui ho, ine ahui ho, ine. Malama pono e ne richao, richao and high five someone in need, make them laugh. That's what they need. Keep a smile upon your face. Yes. Aloha.